Julius Malema calls out a judge that has, according to him, disrespected them again and again. He said that she's always late and this is disrespectful. Watch this clip, we'll come back and discuss. I have been here for five years. She never ate in this court. And no one has ever written an article about that. She's not above the law. She's not the law. She has a duty to respect us. This is unacceptable. We have two hours today. If anything, we should have started here on time. Justice must never be delayed. Never. This is an absolute rubbish we must never stand for. If it means prison, let it be prison. But no one must disrespect us like that. No one. No magistrate, no prosecutor must disrespect us like that and then we keep quiet. She has never been early to any court. She says, come and turn, we come and turn, she's never here. She's never here. We must not talk because we are scared to go to jail or be disrespected. It can't be. We have rights. And our rights must be respected. It's a load shady. We're starting at 11. It doesn't matter what time you start. You start at 1, you start at 2. She's going to be late. And then no one must talk about it. Five years we've been here. She has never been on time. No, no journalist has ever written about that. Not a single journalist has ever spoken about her ill discipline of coming late to court. Coming late to court, we must keep quiet. Two hours today, if anything, we should have been here, all of us on time because we don't have time. They slowed shady. They said to us, be here two hours today. We have lost the whole day, two hours. Now it's gone, it's one hour. She's still not here. I'm not that type to keep quiet when nonsense happens. Nonsense is nonsense. I don't care who's doing it, whether a judge or a magistrate. It's absolutely rubbish. It's unacceptable. We've been too quiet for five years. We've been subjected to this nonsense of disrespect. Can't be disrespected like that. He said she's ill-disciplined and he also addressed the journalist. He said they never talk about this even though it's a known fact. She never respects her clients or her people's time. She just shows up an hour, two hours, three hours later than when she's supposed to come in. And this is a good example of how we need to hold people accountable. It doesn't matter if they're judges. It doesn't matter if they're our leaders, our teachers. We might not do it in a way where Julius Malema feels comfortable to do it, but we always have to call out people because we're programmed, especially in Africa, we're programmed to think that we should not question our superiors or authority. We just say, yes, sir, yes, sir, and live our lives in peace. That's how it's considered like living in peace. If you don't question them, if you act like you don't see them, it will pass by and you will live your life unbothered. But that's not what happens. Usually the more you hold things in, the more you allow things to happen, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. And this lady is going to continue to disrespect other people as well, because according to Julius Malema, it's a known fact she does this to other people as well, not just Julius Malema's team. And also it's not off brand for Julius Malema. He doesn't shy away from uh, speaking up. And this is one of those things where if he sees it, he'll say it even though we like it or not. Anyways, fam, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this. I am Ongil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.